We have seen so much unrest as many people across the nation demand justice for George Floyd. We've seen a number of people looking for ways to show support for black men and women. Tuesday, some minority-owned restaurants in Hampton Road saw a boom in business. Here's Allison Basil. Yeah, the hashtag Blackout Tuesday took off on social media this week, raising awareness about systemic racism. Many also putting actions behind their words, boosting sales at black owned businesses. Vegan fare with Guyanese flair. Jerk mushrooms, really popular. Siobhan Alexander named Desmond's Island Soul Grill in Virginia Beach after her father who passed. He could cook, but it was my mom's kitchen. Tuesday, she smiled as new faces came by to eat during Blackout Tuesday. We saw an influx of new customers, um, some that aren't even vegan. Alexander says it's a step in the right direction. Not just to come out and, and eat the food. It's also to understand why Blackout Tuesday happened. Hampton Roads Facebook users are posting lists of black owned businesses, hoping the community will show support. It boosted Tuesday sales for Cutlass Grill in Chesapeake. Our sales were up 30% um, and it was like a Friday night for us. We were running around here. Owner Sean Dawkins puts his heart into his Jamaican food. I cook like I'm cooking for family. He says the outpouring of support is uplifting. The motto for Jamaica is out of many one people. So, you know, even though we are different, at the end of the day, we're all the same. Alexander says the conversation on racism in America is long overdue. Whether it be over, you know, play the jerk mushrooms or, you know, whatever, it's happening. She hopes people will show black business owners in all industries some love and ask the tough questions. You, know, you might not walk in our shoes, but just know that it happens, it's real, and we're here. In Virginia Beach, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.